Uh, I just thought I'd share with you a couple of, uh, you know, strange, odd examples of people who were supposed to take my service, but they didn't do it because of strange reasons. I'll give you some of them. Okay. Number one is this guy. Uh, he was studying in one of the European countries. And because of COVID, they decided to, I don't know, get rid of students or something like that. I, I don't know exactly, I can't remember. But he couldn't say, that. yeah, he was working, sorry. I remember he was working. And now he lost his job and he was also studying, but his parents couldn't, you know, support him. And plus he needed a visa and many complications. So he decided he would take my service to get a job and, uh, you know, make sure that he's in the country. He had enough time. He had around six months or something. And plus they, they gave him a compensation, which was a decent amount. So as usual, he asked me what are the questions and what does my service cover and fine. And then he also told me, uh, I just want you to know that uh, I'm also going to get married. I said, okay. And, uh, you know, so that is also that. I said, that, that's, I, I told him that, see, listen, marriage is secondary. Marriage, you can get married anytime. You focus on your career, you focus on your work first. Marriage will happen when things are right. Uh, he didn't, I don't know, he didn't seem very happy or convinced with that answer, fine. <sighs> On the due date, the money was supposed to be sent. I didn't get it. So I didn't follow up much. And then uh, obviously, you know, my style is I don't follow up. If you want to pay, you'll pay. Finally, one day he says, hey, Loy, uh, when you're free, let's talk. I said, okay, fine. Then here we were talking on video and he is like, uh, Loy, uh, you know, because I spoke to you and you gave me your time, I thought uh, you should know. So said, yeah, go ahead, tell me I'm listening. Say I've decided uh, not to go ahead with your service. I said, okay. And uh, I said, uh, you want to tell me the reason or, or you just wanted to announce? He said, yeah, yeah, I... I thought I'll let you know the reason also. I said, yeah, go ahead. I think that's why he called me. I said, I wanted to tell you that uh, I didn't like your answer that you gave. Marriage can wait and all that. And uh, I was like, wondering, what, what is he talking? Like, you know, it, it doesn't sound like a, what a guy would say. And then later on, he said, I spoke to my fiance and she was like, you're a very negative person, me. I'm a very negative person and this is not how a person should talk or a coach or this or that. You're very negative and uh, you're just focused on money and that's all you want to do and blah, blah, blah. Give me a... Uh, he was lecturing me. I was like, okay, stop, stop, listen. I'm not uh, here to listen to your lecturing. You can just tell me you don't want my service because of this reason. Appreciate it. Yeah. Then he was like, okay, fine. Just want you to know that uh, I've decided uh, instead of spending on you something more worthwhile. That was my marriage and we're going to spend it on that. Which is going to go, uh, give me more meaning, purpose, blah, blah. He was going on. Uh, I said, okay, take care. I have another call. Bye. Who the fuck wants to listen to all this shit? Man? <laughs> the, you know. I wish I could tell you what he is doing right now, but obviously he couldn't stay in the country because it was on a lockdown, so he had to leave. You know, the, you just imagine the irony of the whole thing. The guy doesn't have a job, he has money for six months. And the money that he has, instead of focusing on getting another job, decided to focus on spending that money on his marriage. Uh, and then he obviously had to go back to the country of origin. I have not kept in, kept in touch with him, but I personally think first you need to focus on sorting yourself out, your finances, your money. First is that. Not first is love and spending money on party and relationships and anyway, you can only tell the person, you can't force the person. Right? So I just, I just kept quiet. 
finished it died off okay so you tell me what he did is right or wrong look if he got a job if he told me lawyer i don't need your service because i got a job fine that's cool oh because love is important you know money is not everything yeah, then go fuck yourself <laughs> not interested anyway that was one the second one was <laughs> this was a, a female uh, she wanted my service premium that also i told her premium is premium price say so, yeah yeah i'm ready for it and okay told her what it was and you know the usual law i don't have the money you know i said whenever you have the money we can start she asked for you know installment which i don't do discount which i don't do finally she told me law i'll get back to you i'll see what i can arrange fine and lo and behold one fine day she tells me that she has taken a bank loan i said i respect the the determination and taking a bank loan i'll do my best to train you but i said not giving you any definitive promises like success is 100% and this it's going to be a struggle you know i i put my disclaimer straight up front i don't uh, give people fake promises or false promises or you give me the money i'll guarantee you a job guarantee you this a gap that of bullshit only scammers do okay so everything is said and done and then i don't hear from her i was like oh okay you know obviously i go through my emails and all that once a week because it was a substantial amount i decided okay you know money is money right you need to follow up so just ask her what's happening just wanted to know uh yes or no whatever the reason just let me know she tells me that uh, uh you know she decided not to go ahead so obviously i is asked like so what have you decided to go for? what she decided to go for was uh, what she decided to go for was investing in cryptos and uh, other investments i told her my dear do you know do you even know and say uh, you she want you can come here but you have to stand ha huh? no huh? because it's easy here no 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 go inside so how much more time she will take for how much more time she will take to finish i think not much more than 30 minutes okay there's a lady cleaning the house so once once a week they clean okay so what i was saying was uh, yeah so she told me she invest i was like my dear like what do you know about crypto no law i i I just wanted you to know that I was dealing with this from before. I put a little, I got a little, put a little, got a little, and I always got more. I like. Are you aware of the fact it's gambling? No, law. It's not gambling. It's investments. So she had made up her mind, and she put a lot of money, a lot. Let me put it to you this way: like what she would, like a salary of three months or four months or whatever. I think six months. Yeah. she put it all into crypto which she got as a loan you know you don't take a loan and put it in cryptos man and i okay fine all the best wish you all the best hope you generate and then you know obviously she didn't she was not rude or anything she told me lawyer as soon as i make more money i will invest on you so i have both the crypto and this i said i wish you all the best i have not heard from her since <laughs> i guess it maybe didn't go as per plan or maybe she is doing so well that she doesn't need the training <laughs> but investing in crypto is you know going to make money fast unless there's a lucky boom or spike and you in cash at the right time anyway this was the second one last if not the least this is the final one this was a guy from i think goa or mumbai not too sure same he wanted a job he wanted this he wanted that now in this guy's case he didn't have a job okay he didn't have a job he didn't have anything trying for months okay fine and then the covid hit so he's at home one fine day 
you know, decides, okay, time to take Loy's service, okay? And this guy uh, has property, this, that, whatever, little bit. So he tells me, Loy, I've decided to sell that, and when I get the cash, I'll pay you, fine. <sighs> Lo and behold, he, on fine day, he says, yeah, close the deal, and uh, very soon I'm going to start with you, and we'll try to get a job and coaching and this and that. Okay, fine. And then I don't hear from him. Obviously, I guess he's not my client. I didn't know what was happening. I totally forgot about it until one fine day he sends me. Uh, he sends me a message. By the grace of God, Jesus, and this and that, and I want to welcome you to our marriage and all that. I was like, who's this? I couldn't remember. So, uh, and they send an invitation card. You know, Indians send this in invitation card and please uh, honor us with your presence. I was like, who's this? So he said, ah, Loy, remember I wanted your service. Huh? Oh, okay. So I said, uh, what happened suddenly getting married? So, and straight away I told him, you're the same guy, right? You didn't have a job for uh, two years or so. Yeah, 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 same guy, Loy. I said, oh, okay. So you got a job finally? Uh, no, 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 Loy, I didn't get. Mom and dad were sick and I had to be there and take care of them. I was like, uh, okay. Mom and dad are sick, no job, then what is his marriage? His answer was, my mom and dad were forcing me, forcing me, they put so much pressure, like, uh, see, we are getting old, we want you to fulfill our last dream. There's a law, I didn't want my parents to die, so let them see my marriage before, let them have that last moment. You know, I... I wanted to tell him, see, listen, if you, it's your mother's last dream, have a simple bloody wedding. Simple one. And why I said simple is because it seems that money that he took, selling the land and property and all that, all that money he spent on the wedding. And I don't know how he managed to break COVID protocols. Maybe he had a secret wedding or something. Or he sent known people. Because if you'd get caught in India, you're in deep shit. You know, especially if you have a mass gathering and I don't know, maybe he did a private party, I, I have no idea. <sighs> or maybe the rules are lifted. I told him, you know, like, uh, do you think it's the right decision? He obviously knew, see, he said, see, Loy, please don't say anything negative, be happy for me. I'm like, no, listen, I'm, I'm not going to say anything bad. It's your mother and father's last wish and this and that. And but then I was like, why am I even bothered? He's made up his mind to do what he wants to do, right? No job, selling off the only last thing that you have. And instead of having a simple wedding, having a big time wedding, that also during COVID and all that. I was like, yeah, all the best. I wish you all the best. Do well. May your life be blessed. You know, all that formality. Now in this guy's case, <laughs> story didn't end there. After all the wedding, this and that, he sends me a message after some time. And uh, mother and father are still alive, which is a good thing. Got married, which is a good thing. Apparently she also lost a job, which was not a good thing. And now he also doesn't have a job. And now, I think after six months, seven months or whatever, now he wants to try the Gulf. Because, you know, they call UAE the Gulf. I was like, yeah, fine. I've given you my rates before. So, could you do something for me and do something? You can take a lower level service. And no, Loy, I want that same service. Same service, same price. Loy, I've been a big fan of yours, following your content so long. Always share your content. That's, you share my content or you like my content because it gives you value, not because you're doing me favors. I didn't ask you to take the money and blow it off on a wedding. You did that. He tried. I politely, like how he was polite with him, I was polite with him. And uh, he tried again, he tried. 
quite a number of times discount and installment and this and that and full payment then we can start and that was the last i heard of him see why am i sharing these examples you can say that uh, yeah so he's marketing himself fine that's my channel but what's the other lesson that i'm telling you don't make decisions emotionally don't make decisions emotionally and then justify it logically think logically forget my service before getting married which is a responsibility before taking another person on board in your life where you have to take care sort yourself out no at least um, earn something at least have a job at least have regular income coming in that is not there and you are taking on board another responsibility and most of the people don't even consider that okay you get married to another person you your family she her family so now you both have to be responsible for both the families you both have to be responsible for each other i don't know i guess uh, maybe i know it now because i'm married and i'm 45 and i guess 30 year olds think like 30 year olds maybe if i was 30 year old i would do the same thing maybe was anyway so what it was this is what it came down to sad but then again i'm not running a charitable institute i run a business need to think like a businessman anyway this is what it is do you know some people who have done such stupid things taking a loan and getting married taking a loan to get married they want to have the climatic moment and then mother father forced me to get married oh you're a baby mummy daddy forced you get married come on son get married we'll breastfeed you we we'll learn for you beta daughter we we'll learn for you okay parents are rich enough then do that not rich enough don't do that anyway this is what it is let me know your thoughts why is my dog barking oh that cleaning lady is going <laughs> life man life i'll have a look at my indian wife huh? Hey, shut up. See, dog knows English. Hey. It's my dog. Barking dog. Finish? Yes. Hmm. Tony. Ah. Yes. What you want? Here? Did you want chocolate? No, no chocolate. No. Chocolate. She always wants chocolate. She likes chocolate. Yeah. All right. You guys take care. Yes, I know. Who her birthday? Who her na? Okay. Okay. Give her something more. Bye bye. Okay. Huh? Uh, it's okay. Give her. Yeah. You want more? You're around. Okay. No? Okay. My wife doesn't want to give. Okay. All right. You guys take care. Ciao.